this is NJ, your host on this channel. Now, as you can see in the background, I'm still doing that mall activity, but just because um, these days, a uh, lot many stuff going on in the personal space. So I had the time today in the evening, so I thought we can um, record this uh, session from over here only. I'm sure there will be some slight uh, noise and disturbances, so please um, spare me over there, forgive me on that part, but I will definitely try to make it up with good quality information. So definitely guys, uh, now in this video, we will have our discussion on the upcoming transit of the planet Sun. What makes this um, usual, regular, monthly transit of Sun little bit special during this time? Because once our Sun will enter the sign of Aquarius, it is going to get conjunct with the planet Saturn over there. Now definitely guys, Sun is the king amongst all the planets. It has got the power to even combust all the planets. But the power dynamics is little bit different this time because once sun will enter the sign of Aquarius Saturn is very well placed in the Aquarius sign it's in its own territory even if you have to get deeper into the nakshatra so uh, nakshatra of Rahu Sadbisha where Saturn is currently transiting is considered as a good placement for the planet Saturn so how it is going to manifest results so like the way guys I always say this thing that definitely when it comes down to major events in your life giving you some lifetime opportunity, Saturn holds the key to grant you that. But just because Saturn is a very slow moving planet, whatsoever it is going to do in your life, it's gonna take its own sweet time. But when we talk about from Sun's point of view, definitely in its monthly transit, it can give you new opportunity, possibility of um, prospects of fame, recognition, attainment of power, lot many things can happen. But just because during this time, Sun is going to get into tug of war with the planet Saturn. So how it will manifest the results? So definitely guys, all those people are going to be in the vulnerable or in the dark zone in whose cases you're already going through some issues with the uh, authority figures, with your bosses, any of the concerns of heightened sense of ego or like um, there's a heightened sense of self-importance. Then in those cases, this entry of uh, sun in the Saturn might make you or the circumstances might forcefully make you uh, suppress your ego. So these all are the concerns where you have to be careful. And definitely guys, let's say for example, if you are uh, like planning for any of the government job exam, any of the public uh, performance appearances or any of the work in collaboration with the government. So all those people also have to be careful during this time when sun is going to be transiting in the Aquarius sign. Now, like the way guys, I always say this thing, if there is one house and there is one zodiac sign which has got this potential and capacity to give good functioning grounds to all the planets, that is the Aquarius sign and the 11th house. So I would still say that it's not as vulnerable. Everything comes down to your own um, degree and sense of self-importance, your actions, your credibility, because that will matter a lot while figuring out the final outcome of this conjunction and this transit of sun in the Aquarius. Because guys, um, in the positive side, it has been uh, found, this conjunction has been found in all those charts where people rebel for some good causes and did this rebelliousness only later on get rewarded well accepted by the people and they ascend to the political position and in the negative cases it has been also seen all those people in whose cases you will find that their natural talents lie in some other field and society family parents they uh, impose some different field and sort of you know vision in the minds of the kids so definitely guys lot many ifs and buts and once we will get into the customized side of this discussion understanding it uh, specific to your lagna over there you might be able to find the insights so guys uh, starting first with the aries lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case um, this concept is very important in this way because see understand this thing uh, throughout this um, transit your uh, ascendant lord is going to be strengthened second thing is that if we talk about two planets who are contributing to this yoga sun is definitely your uh, important um, lord of the uh, trine house and even saturn in certain cases can actually uh, create very highest form of raj yoga for you guys because of the rulership of the 10th house and the 11th house so i mean to say definitely guys when it comes down to recognition or like if you have been struggling in certain area and you have earned uh, your uh, due credit due reward so that can be bestowed upon during this time so for recognition or fame 
or opportunity which will come after like um, in certain adverse circumstances so regarding that front i'm seeing you guys heading in the right direction and nothing would be better than that if you're already in that situation or a uh, stage in your life where you have to write any competitive exam or you are chasing some important client important project you have to launch something so i would say that taking into consideration the role which sun plays in your chart saturn which the role which it plays in your chart and the strength of your ascendant lord this transit will definitely churn out some positive outcome for you and guys in only one way i'm seeing you guys vulnerable is that if let's say for example in your natal chart uh, you are a little bit stress prone like um, your moon is afflicted because of being placed in the 8th house conjunct with rahu or saturn then i would say that it can make you vulnerable and definitely uh, your uh, degree and sense of self importance ego needs to be uh, tapered down but in general specifically from the material and career point of view this is a very good transit for you uh um, the only concern is that uh, in certain cases um there could be concerns between the conflict between the father and the son within your family i mean to say over there you have to be careful now guys when we talk about for the uh, taurus lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case uh, this conjunction is going to take place in your uh, 10th house so that means um uh, saturn which becomes your yog karaka planet and when it comes down to the role of the uh, sun so it has got a rulership over your one of the important angular hubs so that in itself means that this conjunction is taking place in your 10th house that in itself tells about that at your workplace um, there could be some sort of situation where um, a lot of the uh, pressure of the responsibilities might um, get on your shoulder during this time which initially you will resist or you will not like very much second thing is that during this time whatsoever work you have to get done at your workplace you have to fight with the authorities you have to challenge your bosses or you have to challenge the status quo again guys it all comes down to individual to individual if you are at the right side and whatsoever your preparations are your credibility is very authentic then there is nothing hard on um, you know rebelling for something which is which does not look very right to you where your inner conscience is not allowing you to give your nod to give your uh, affirmation for something so yes guys i would say this thing that um, authorities uh, might prove to be little bit hard to deal with but in general if i were to say specifically if in your line of work like uh, you are in a field like uh, when we talk about being a lawyer being a journalist or something where you are the voice of the masses and where you are like always challenging the existing government existing authority and all then this could be a very favorable transit for all those natives now guys uh, and lastly guys um, domestic life might get suffered during this time uh, because of the workplace uh, workplace related stress challenges opportunities so I'm, i would say this thing that whatsoever is happening at your professional front do not bring the office headache office stress at your bedroom at your home because otherwise it's going to take a toll in your personal uh, life as well now guys uh, when we talk about for the um, um, gemini lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case now as you can see that uh, sun has got a rulership over your uh, third house and now it is going to get conjunct with the planet saturn or it's going to transit to your ninth house so definitely guys uh, during this time you have to be very careful that there could be some inconveniences on the account of the travels and there is a strong possibility that all those people who are otherwise your well wishers your mentors your guide so their prophecy their teaching their advice might not get along well with you or you might get into some sort of argument with them second thing is that even there is a strong possibility that whatsoever you will do you will initiate you will perform the way you will communicate it might put you into some sort of tug of war with your father as well so over there as well guys you have to be careful but again guys when it comes down to if you are in that line of work like publishing or like um, sensationalized sort of work and all or online uh, related uh, training teaching uh, guiding people so those people can still get benefited with this uh, entry of uh, sun in your ninth house but again guys when it comes down to travel there is a strong possibility of inconveniences or whatsoever you have anticipated as a probable out come of that business travel or trip that might not get materialized as you would have planned so over there you have to be careful now guys uh, when we talk about the cancer lagna natives definitely guys in your case sun has got a rulership over your um, second house 
and now it is going to get uh, transit to your eighth house get conjunct with the planet saturn over there so guys uh, during this time there is a very um, strong possibility that money might be spent on things which are not very strongly needed like i would say that wasteful expenses is something that sort of yoga is getting formed for the cancer lagna natives second thing is that guys um, it is also making you a little bit uh, prone towards some sort of allergy food um, like um, infection and all of that so over there as well your eating habits your drinking habits have to be properly monitored and last thing is that guys um, whatsoever you will talk or you will speak you do not have to get embroiled into other people's affair other people's businesses because other people might try to entrap you in their drama in their uh, gossip and personal stuff which might put you into some sort of politics gossip and drama and all so over there as well you have to be careful the only way guys i'm seeing you uh, getting benefited with this entry of sun in your 8th house is that if your finances your income is connected with the 8th house uh, managing the investments of other people managing the um, like uh, insurance policies revenue of other people working the fields of uh, occult insurance uh, research this could be beneficial time for you but apart from that if you have to initiate some uh, important uh, business financial dealings and projects you have to be a little bit careful over here during this time now guys uh, like when we talk about for all the uh, leo lagna natives so definitely guys it is going to be the transit of your ascendant lord where is your ascendant lord goes our whole focus goes in the matters of that house so guys your ascendant lord is going to um, get conjunct with the saturn in the 7th uh, house so again guys this is a typical yoga where like in your case i'm not seeing that you will be at fault or your partner will be at fault it might be a case see, it becomes very easy to pick when there is of an option which is one is right and one is wrong it is easy to choose one but when both are good and both are bad it becomes little bit difficult to make a selection and over there you could have an argument a point of difference or contrasting opinion and differences with your spouse or with your partner as well so regarding that front guys you have to be careful second thing is that the only way i am seeing uh, this transit to be beneficial for you is that all those people who are completely devoted to the public service unconditional humanitarian public work public service and all like you are working as a social worker or you do lot of charities and humanitarian work and all so those people can actually get benefited because mars is also strengthened in your 6th house so it could be a case that all the hard work and struggle and resistance which you have been enduring from the past so long that might get acknowledged or rewarded during this time but yes guys uh, your chemistry with your partner or with the business partners might suffer and also if during this time uh, you are planning to take any important decision uh, commercial decision and all that might go through uh, with um, some initial intermittent obstacles uh, resistance uh, things coming to a deadlock so over there you have to be careful do not push it too much now guys uh, when we talk about for all the virgo lagna natives so guys in your case now as you can see that sun has got a rulership over your 12th house and now it is going to get conjunct with the planet saturn in the 6th house so definitely guys uh, this is a kind of a vulnerable zone uh, because as you know this thing that saturn is a very favorable planet for uh, virgo lagna natives sun in any case has got a rulership over the 12th house even the 6th house is not considered as very favorable for it and now getting suppressed with the strengthened presence of the planet saturn over there that in itself means that during this time there is a strong possibility that um, office um, responsibilities uh, i would say the opponents in any situation are going to be in a more empowered state so let's say for example if you are in any of these kind of situation where you have to face any fierce competition so uh, prepare yourself very well that is the one thing also guys uh, because uh, as you know this thing that there could be certain concerns of like all the elements of the sun might suffer during this time so let's say for example if you are already going through any of the heart related concerns or issue or weak eyesight related issues or body fatigue or tiredness and all so those issues might get worse during this time so only take that much of the pressure which you can handle which you can manage like there were a lot many times what happened is that our body is not allowing us our health is not allowing us but still we keep on pushing us to the limits so during this time it is these kind of pushing yourself to the limits does not seems to be a very right way of dealing with any situation 
and yes guys in only only one way i'm seeing um, those guys getting benefited like if in your line of work if you're already utilizing the energy of the sixth house you're working as a health nutrition expert you're working as a lawyer and all then those people can still get benefited but overall my recommendation is that um, during this time by yourself do not go instigate challenge or provoke any sort of situation now guys uh, when we talk about the libra lagna natives so guys in your case now as you can see that uh, sun has got a rulership over your 11th house and now in the transit it is going to get conjunct with a very well placed and strengthened saturn in your 5th house so now guys as you know this thing that um, uh, sun uh, in your case um, has got this capacity to bestow some sort of highest of the titles and awards saturn in any case is a yog karaka planet for you so my uh, the way i'm looking at is uh, this entry of sun in your 5th house is that you will find it kind of little bit difficult to take any important decision because fifth house tells about the way our mind function so when being put forth in any important situation so there will be too much of the back and forth or too much of the analysis and a uh, critical kind of analysis which might be going on in your mind before giving your final nod to any situation but the good thing is that all that uh, critique and all that critical analysis will definitely lead you towards some very subtle and right set of decision making the only way guys i'm seeing you a little bit vulnerable is that because in this kind of conjunction sun and saturn the living signification always suffer it might make you very adept in taking right decision strategic decision visionary decision but when it comes down to the living aspect of the fifth house uh, which are your children uh, which are like um, your uh, romantic partner so over there you have to be uh, careful because there is a strong possibility of argument conflicting thoughts so you have because uh, in any case mars is also exalted in your fourth house so your domestic life is already very rife and you do not want to put more fuel to it so if things uh, get um, uh, provoke or come out like this that um, it can go bad or there are lot many things which are not getting done as per your liking so it will be much better way of uh, opting for a diplomatic way rather than straight confrontation so and yes guys all those are uh, females who are currently pregnant or their delivery is due so they have to be little bit careful now guys uh, when we uh, and uh, for the artist and creative people uh, this could be a very blessed time people invested in stock market trading speculation so i would say that take as much as the risk which you can handle do not go overboard now guys when we talk about the scorpio lagna natives definitely guys in your case this transit will become very important because sun becomes your 10th house lord and now it is going to get conjunct with a very well placed saturn in your 4th house so first of all it tells about that in your domestic life there might be too many people coming in the way of each other and guys workplace related responsibilities might take a toll in your mental health as well over there you have to be careful second thing is that guys because see in your case your ascendant lord is in such a strengthened state right now that you might be feeling yourself uh, like you know invincible but my recommendation is that if you're working in the domain of the public space public sphere so over there because definitely you're working as a politician and all you're a celebrity but the main power resides in the hands of the public so do not do something which can kind of you know uh, make people go against you or which might give this impression that this person is like um, the degree and sense of self importance is too high so over there guys i would say that your domestic life specifically because the way we say whatever goes on inside that only manifest outside so uh, doing meditation keeping a calm state of mind becomes utmost importance for you guys during this time and yes guys apart from that your ascendant lord is in a strengthened state so i'm very much sure any challenges which will uh, be thrown at you you will be able to handle it uh, very efficiently but yes your domestic life will demand attention caution and care now guys when we talk about the sagittarius lagna natives so guys in your case sun becomes your ninth house lord and in the transit it is going to get conjunct with the planet saturn in your third house so guys this is a typical yoga where like let's say for example you might be trying to initiate something kick start something and at the last minute either luck will not support you or people who are otherwise supporting you they might back out so i would say that um, trying to be self reliant and going solo will be the advice for you guys till the time sun and saturn conjunction is taking place in your third house 
again guys uh, this is a kind of a typical yoga where like a lot many times um, you know in uh, inner uh, turmoil inner anguish give the maximum thrust and push uh, to the native or the drive and motivation will only come if you will be put at discomfort or at unease that is all what i can say and also guys not a very good time to get into or poke your nose in other people's business other people's matter and if you are working in the fields of communication specifically something which is very sensationalized something where you have to critic where you have to audit other people i would say this is going to be a beneficial time for you now guys when we talk about the capricorn lagna natives definitely guys in your case our sun has got a rulership over your 8th house and now it is going to get conjunct with the planet saturn in your 2nd house so guys this is a typical yoga where like let's say for example if you are in a family business there could be some contrasting and very strong difference of opinion or some sort of uh, argument within the family uh, over the allocation of the asset over there you have to be careful there is a very strong possibility that the planetary vibration might drive you towards taking some wrong decision and again guys your ascendant lord is a part of it so and whatsoever happens as a gift or as a curse from saturn the impact of that bothers us for a long span of time so pertaining to the matters of your family life over your finances if you have to take any decision take it with proper caution and care that is all what i can say for you now guys for all the aquarius lagna natives so guys in your case now as you can see that sun has got a rulership over your 7th house and now in the transit it is going to enter your first house and it is going to get conjunct with your ascendant lord over there now guys the good part with the planet sun is that whenever it is transiting from the first house somehow it gets that directional strength so the good part is that in your commercial line of work i am actually looking forward to those kind of situation where people will definitely put you at discomfort will put you at unease but later on or in a longer span of time it is going to benefit you for sure and let's say for example if you are working in a field because guys when we talk about the aquarians they have this capacity to uh, do something or think something which is very visionary which is very unusual that is what defines the aquarius uh, rising natives so my recommendation is that if you are already working in a domain which is very philanthropic driven which is very humanitarian driven which is very technology tech driven and all and all what is needed is right set of eyeball to observe you right set of people to support you important people people connected with government and prominent sect of the society so those people can get benefited with this entry of um, like a seventh house lord in your first house the only concern is that there could be some concerns uh, with the difference of opinion with your partner with your spouse and health needs to be watched during this time and lastly guys for all the pisces lagna natives so now guys as you can see that in your case sun has got a rulership over your 6th house and in the transit it is going to get conjunct with the saturn in your 12th house so guys it's a typical yoga where like uh, people like to walk front might try to group against you there might be a lot of things which are going behind your back which you might not be aware of so my strict recommendation to the pisces lagna natives that during this time do not indulge into those actions those association those sort of communication which can turn people against you and definitely guys if you are invested in research exploration adhyatma meditation spirituality anything to do with uh, discovery of the unknown anything connected with the foreign land like trying to uh, find yourself in far away isolated places then those people can still get benefited with this entry of sun in your 12th house but definitely guys uh you need to give heightened attention to your health that is something which i can say for all the pisces lagna native so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my instagram account thank you